Hey, you little punk. Why don't you try something face to face instead of attacking me from behind like a little coward all the time? You think I'm scared of you, Goldberg, don't you? You should be. Look, I ain't afraid of you. I'm better than you already. Always have been. Besides, I'm gonna prove it when I beat your ass at Elimination Chamber. I'll get Taker sooner or later, but as of now, you're next. Is that so, huh? And a cheap shot by Ryback, and these two are just gonna brawl it out here on the outside. These two, an unstoppable brawl, an unbreakable brawl. These two security guards are gonna try to break these two behemoths off. These two powerhouses. They're gonna try to separate these two. And welcome back, guys, to Goldberg v. Streak Part 3 now, guys. As Goldberg and Ryback are set to face off at Elimination Chamber as these two bowling points right now are about to explode. As Goldberg has been hit with a line of fire by Ryback. And Goldberg ready to beat some ass at Elimination Chamber. But as right now, guys, Goldberg's going to make his way down to the ring to beat some ass in that ring before Elimination Chamber. I feel bad for the poor soul who's going to have to face Goldberg. As Ryback just lit a fire under Goldberg. Lit a fire under Goldberg. And Goldberg is ready. Goldberg is ready to prove that he is the baddest thing in WWE right now. Past, present, and future. And Ryback, I'm sorry to say this, buddy. But you're not going to be next. But whoever he faces will be next. As Goldberg is ready for some one-on-one -on -one competition on Raw. Oh boy, Goldberg may have his hands full tonight, though. The Ayatollah of Rock and Roll, Chris Jericho, has returned to Raw. Up oh, there goes the lights, guys. I guess they didn't pay the um, they didn't pay the electricity bill. Oh, WWE, saving all your money on Triple H's partner. And there he is. Light up jacket and all. It's Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is going to face Goldberg. And what is going to be an amazing match here on Raw. The best at what he does, Chris Jericho. You can find him at on Twitter at I am Jericho. Here we go, guys. Custom story. Goldberg taking on Chris Jericho. One on one match. Goldberg's got a win here tonight. Let's do this. And guys, I'd just like to thank you for all the support you are showing on my channel. That's Goldberg taking it right to Chris Jericho. Right out of the gate. You know he's going to try to show Ryback what he's up against. And Goldberg's showing his skills right off the gate, guys. Just throwing Chris Jericho just around the ring. And a big clothesline by Goldberg coming off those ropes like a steam train. Just a train off those ropes, guys. Now Goldberg trying to work on those body parts. And like I was saying, guys, I'd just like to thank you for all the support you're giving on my custom stories and all my other series on my channel. All I have to do is WWE 2K14. So I thank you for that, guys. Definitely. It's pretty cool, guys, what you're doing with me right now. It's a nice thing. It shows me you're really enjoying this and you're supporting me this supporting this stuff just give it a like if you like it which helps me out just so much guys it helps me and remember to share this video with Goldberg a big super kick out of nowhere and a big big boot to the head of Chris Jericho Chris Jericho's gonna be feeling that one in the morning and a big spine buster on the outside little padding there and now Goldberg just breaking the count a veteran move there by Goldberg he does not want to get the double count out here and look at the veteran move that Chris Jericho trying to fight out. We all know Chris Jericho is a smaller man in this physical battle. But Chris Jericho is still going to give all he's got here against Goldberg. And Goldberg with those big punches in the barricade right to the face. And now Goldberg sending Chris Jericho into that ring pole. And that's got to hurt. Face first to the ring pole. And now... Goldberg may be looking to end it very soon. Goldberg has just been dominant here. Like I said, guys, Ryback better watch out what he's in fear for. 
because both Goldberg right now, he looks more fired up than ever, guys. He looks like he's ready to face Ryback at Elimination Chamber, and he's ready whenever The Undertaker is ready to pick a fight with a dead man. And Goldberg going for a quick pin here. But no, Chris Jericho showing the resiliency of a man, a champion, a former world champion, a former WWE champion, and hold the most Intercontinental Championship reigns of all time. That is why he is the idol of rock and roll with that heart right there, guys. And now Chris Jericho is looking to take a control in this matchup. And a call and elbow lock up here. And it looks like, obviously, the power of Goldberg with big back suplex there wins the call and elbow lock up. And now Goldberg looking to make Chris Jericho submit just like he did a few later last week. Is Goldberg going to make Chris Jericho submit? No, he just lets him go, seeing that Chris Jericho will not submit easily here, guys. Throwing Goldberg, throwing Chris Jericho off the rope and into a big boot. Chris Jericho went into that turnbuckle flying and gets caught with a big boot. And now it's Goldberg sinking here. Oh, and a big super kick misses. And Chris Jericho catches him with a big running four on there. You gotta wonder, where is the dead man in all of this? Where is the dead man gone, guys? The dead man has not shown his face in the WWE since Royal Rumble weeks ago. You gotta wonder if he's gonna answer Goldberg's, Goldberg's challenge, Bill Goldberg's challenge. You gotta wonder if The Undertaker may be a little scared of Goldberg. And you know, guys, you cannot blame him. The ways of decimating Chris Jericho, a guy who's beaten The Undertaker before Chris Jericho. A guy who is an undefeated champion at one point in his career. The first undefeated champion in WWE history. Yeah, I think maybe The Undertaker, after getting the hell beat out of him in the backstage area, even though it was an assault, you gotta feel that he may feel like Goldberg may be just a little too much for him. Oh my god, what's this? What is this? Big! Backbreaker right to the neck, I think, to the upper back or neck of Chris Jericho. And boy, Chris Jericho's really going to have to get back into this one, guys, if Chris Jericho wants to win this bout. You know Undertaker's watching somewhere, guys. You know he's watching somewhere. You know he's watching in his home of Texas. You know he's got to be somewhere watching this bout, scouting Goldberg and a big axe handle from the top rope. And what's Goldberg thinking here? Goldberg maybe setting up for the end. And here we go. Big slam by Goldberg. And now Goldberg calling for the end here. I think we all know what this is, ladies and gentlemen. Goldberg maybe calling for the end. He's calling for that big spear. And the spear connects. Breaking Chris Jericho in half. I think that's it. Even Chris Jericho can't take that punishment. Three. Goldberg showing the power and just the strength and the over dominance over Chris Jericho. Ryback may be a top competitor in the WWE right now, but I know for sure he definitely may not be the top competitor like Chris Jericho. If Goldberg can beat Chris Jericho, I'd hate to see how Ryback's gonna fare. It's gonna be interesting, guys. Goldberg on a mean streak right now in this custom story. Remember to like this video up and share it with your friends and tell me what you think about this video and this series and my channel in the comments and subscribe for more WWE 2K14 content.